Komal. I'm nine years old. I love my school so much. Some of my friends are naughty at times. <laughs> But even I'm naughty sometimes, na? Komal Kumar. My mama is fun, but she can be strict also. So what? She takes care of you also, na? Says Papa. <laughs> But I still like Papa more. Hey, hey Bakshi! <laughs> hey, what a surprise! <laughs> Papa's old Long friends, time, huh? Bakshi uncle and auntie, are our new neighbors. Oh, hello. Who is this sweet little girl? Mm, it would have been better if they had children for me to play with. Uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Bakshi uncle is dropping me to school. <laughs> Papa was getting late to work, na? That's why. <laughs> uncle is very sweet. Auntie is a very busy woman, but uncle works from home only. They have such a nice house, and it is full of pretty things. Wow, unicorn! It's okay. You can tell Mama you got it from me, or you don't have to tell her. Hmm? <laughs> Even Papa doesn't play with me so much. Bakshi Uncle is so much more fun. Where is my little doll? Where did she vanish? Oh. Must be here. Yes, gotcha. <laughs> He even took me out to eat gola once. Uh, please don't tell Mama. She might get angry. She's strict, na. I wanted to tell Mama, but I was afraid. So what if I had gola? Anyway, all my friends eat it. Hey, you want to play a new game? A secret game? Yeah, huh? that will be fun. Come with me. <laughs> what, what are you doing, Uncle? What, what kind of game is this? Dirty. Why did Bakshi Uncle do it? I feel so dirty. Kumar, oh, is everything okay? Hello, Mrs. Kumar. I wanted to speak to you regarding Kumar. Beta, why are you sad? Did someone say anything to you in school? What happened? <laughs> Did someone hurt you? <laughs> If you don't tell me, my dear, how can I help you? I have secrets. I I have lied to you about the gola, and and now this. I I feel very dirty. You you will be very angry if I told you what I have done. No, I promise you, I won't be angry. I love you, don't I? Hmm? Then trust me. He is not a nice uncle. <laughs> Which uncle? No, wait. Everyone will know. Then what can we do? Whose help can we seek? We can't let Bakshi get away with this. Childline. My friend Priya works there. They they help children. Ten, nine, eight. <laughs> Hello, Komal. I know what happened to you was not your fault at all. We will ensure that your Bakshi uncle can never see you again. Hmm? Let me show you how to keep yourself safe. Hi, kids. How are you all today? Good morning, kids. Have you ever been in a situation that made you feel uncomfortable? Yes, Didi. When my little dog chews away my shoe, I get very angry. 
<laughs> That's true. What I mean is, has anyone touched you in a way that made you uneasy? Which of you have experienced this? So then, how do we know if someone is doing something wrong or touching us the wrong way? Here, let me explain. We all need to have our own personal space in our body. There are four zones which should not be touched by anyone and nor should you touch anyone else's part. Mouth, chest, the part between your legs and buttocks. These are your personal spaces. Only the most trusted people like your mother may see and touch you in your personal spaces. So tell me, when you come home from school and your mama gives you a hug, how do you feel? She sometimes she smells of vegetables. Yuck! <laughs> <laughs> but don't we feel very nice? Yes, yes, we do. Your mother may touch you in the four zones while giving you a bath. Or sometimes Dr. Uncle checks you in Mama or Papa's presence. This touch keeps you clean and healthy. When we are touched by someone who loves us and cares for us, we call it safe touch. If anyone else touches you in one of the four areas, it is wrong. It could also make you feel shy, scared, yucky, uncomfortable and unhappy. Someone could show you dirty pictures or film or make you undress or they touch their personal parts in front of you. All such actions are not safe for you and we call them unsafe touch. Some people do such things even though they are not good for you and you feel hurt. So then what will you do if someone touches you in these places? You should shout, no, no, and run to someone you trust and tell them. Who is that? You tell me, whom do you trust? My pet dog. <laughs> yes, you can tell your pet, but will he understand you? Will he be able to help you? I trust my mama and my teacher. So, if someone ever touches you in a way that makes you uncomfortable, you must tell someone you trust and keep telling them until they listen to you. By talking to the person you trust, whether it is your mama or your papa, you can help to make sure it never happens to you or any other child again. You should also know about child line. If you dial 1098 and ask for help, a trusted person will come to help you. Always remember, it is never your fault that someone touched you wrongly. It is the fault of the person who did it. Never be afraid to speak your mind. If someone is harming you, speak up. <laughs> Don't worry. You are safe. Just tell me what happened. Remember, if you or any of your friends are feeling trapped in a situation like this, there is always help available. Call me on 1098 and Chai Line shall be there for you.